don't want to be a fat bride. My dress is strapless. You're going to see all this. I'm more worried about the back. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. Just hold it. Oh, no. That's I can feel an inch there. Meet Catherine. Her dress is pulled tight in all the wrong places, and it's just six weeks before her wedding. It's pulling down and up and all in the wrong spots. I'm not comfortable. I'm not happy. Catherine needs help before those spaghetti straps snap. Oh, my Lana. Tommy oh, Europe, personal trainer. Hi. Nadine Bowman, nutrition specialist. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's going on? Can't get it up? No. Take this. It's your food diary. Keep track of everything you eat for one week. This is your training gear. Before you walk the aisle, you get to walk the plank with me. When Tommy first walked through that door, I was so scared. I didn't know what to think. I thought, holy crap, this is going to be way worse than delivering twins. I can't. No cans here. Catherine is going to have her hands full with her twin toddlers planning a wedding. Catherine, I need some effort. I'm dying. And my butt-kicking workout. This one's for Tommy. All in an effort to avoid being a bulging bride. Oh, so sad. <laughs> After we were together for three years, I looked at it and I said, if we're together for 10, I'll marry you. And it's 10. Please go over this. The veggies in. The wedding preparations, I hope are going good. I'm not around very often, so I'm not a really huge part in that. Okay, go see mommy. Go get a juju. And I have twin boys who are two and a half, which makes life quite difficult. And I work part time on top of that. So family life kind of is somewhat busy. Exercise doesn't really show up too often in my life. Right on. Thank you. James's bad eating affects my bad eating because he buys bad things. He buys chips. I love the salt. I love the crunch. I love bread. I love sandwiches with lots of dressings on them. I love pepperoni. I love pepperoni and cheese and crackers. What have you been eating? I don't. What do you mean, what have I been eating? I love my dress. There's no way in hell I'm not fitting into that dress. I bought it, I'm gonna wear it, and I'm gonna look good in it. I'm Tommy Euro, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach, Nadine Bowman. We're in a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Catherine, welcome to your Isle of Shame. Oh, my Lana. Catherine, this platter is called the Carb and Cheese-a-thon, and it's one week of your carb and cheese intake. Ah, it looks good. It's filling, and it, you know, it does the job, but it's overdoing it. And what about this mac and cheese? What part of your body does this remind you of? My butt. Uh, yeah, I can see how you'd think that. <laughs> one week of your carb and cheese intake, 5,543 calories. That's bad. So let's take a look at the other two. OK, come on. This platter is called Late Night Binging, and it's one month of your alcohol and late night food. <laughs> That's disgusting. First of all, you're drinking way too many of your calories. <laughs> Nachos, just 10 to 15 of those, 350 calories. Wings, 150 calories per wing. Do you know how many calories your late night binging in one month equals out to? 44,060. I'm, yeah, it's, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. Well, let's check out the last and the most important platter. This last platter I call caffeine caboose and it's three months of your coffee intake. In one cup, you've got half a cup of 2% milk and one tablespoon of sugar. Yeah. So that means that over three months, you're consuming 336 tablespoons of sugar. <laughs> Seems like a lot of milk already. It is. It's actually 20,160 calories just in the milk over your three months. Total calorie count for the milk intake in your coffees in three months, 35,280 calories. Well, let's go see Tommy and he's gonna tell you how all of this is affecting your body shape. Okay. You don't notice it when you're eating it, but to see it like this, it kind of brings a new light on your life and how you need to change it. Catherine. Yes. Shape analysis time. Bust, 44 inches. Ouch. Waist, 39. Yep. 
Hips, 50. <laughs> it's awful. Now let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 222 pounds. You're five foot 10, dress size of 16, weight, 222. Body type, hair shape. It's awful. <laughs> you want those to change? Oh yeah. Ready to work? Yes. All right. Well, let's go see Jean, our stylist, and get you into that wedding dress. Catherine, meet Jean. She's gonna help you into your dress. Oh, hi. Right this way. Thanks. <laughs> yes, it doesn't fit. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna zip up today. <laughs> Jean, what's going on? Well, what we have here, guys, is a sheath style silhouette. It's very slim. Works really well for your wedding because it's sort of casual style. It's outside and it uh, carries over really well from the daytime ceremony to the nighttime reception. One of the things about a sheath style gown though is that it needs to glide over your body. And right now, I'm not really seeing that. It's a little tight in the waist. On the upside though, this cowl neck is great for your figure because it really balances out a pear-shaped figure, draws your eye upward. So I like that. I'll show you the back. We couldn't do the zipper up. Uh, it's about three and a half to four inches for the zipper to do up properly uh, and to be comfortable as well. So this little zipper here is holding on for dear life. Okay, if we get some inches and pounds lost through your waist, flatten down this stomach, this dress is gonna sit so much nicer. Toning through your arms, yes. shoulders, upper chest. So it's gonna be a lot of work. You up for it? Yes. We've got six weeks to slim down Catherine all over. I'm embarrassed because I've done this to myself, but I'm gonna work my ass off and get it done. I mean, God, that would be awful if I couldn't do up my dress. <laughs> Catherine, today your job is to survive Tommy's playground. It will be your physical assessment. And up, hands down, kick the feet back. Pick up the speed, pick up the speed. We got inches and pounds to lose. Catherine's first set of exercises was busting the butter belly. A trio of medicine ball exercises, squat thrusts with a push-up plank, medicine ball throws, and medicine ball wood choppers. I'm dying. Have one more. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. No can'ts here. This is called staying faithful, Catherine. Come on. I want those knees bent. Oh, my first experience sucked with Tommy. I suck. I have the worst exercise routine ever. I need some effort. I... Now it's time to commit. You never quit. Come with me. All right, Catherine, put that on. Now all left. Catherine had a lot of belly showing, too much for right now, but if he sticks to it, that belly's gonna be flatter and flatter and flatter. Come on, keep punching, keep punching, keep punching. Holy crap. You gotta work in your core, you gotta work in your endurance. I told you it's gonna be head to toe transformation. Yeah. All right? Okay. okay. You sign up for this, we got six weeks to get you looking great in your dress. Okay. Got it? Got it. All right. If the rest of the process is uh, this hard, I think I'm gonna look pretty hot in six weeks. <laughs> Next, I catch Catherine in the act. Oh, oh no. So oh, bad. More. No Just more. hold it. Bulging bride to be Catherine has a long way to go to fit into her dress and not a lot of time. This is your training gear. Before you walk the aisle, you get to walk the plank. Hello, Catherine. Creamy dressings, creamy pasta, cheesies, anything that's cheese, cider. You keep that up. This is what's going to happen to you. It's not good at all. Look at my stomach. <laughs> That's gaining six pounds a year for the next five years. That would put you close to 250 pounds. Then you're going to have to change your ways, stick to your fitness plan and your nutrition plan. This can happen to you if you follow those directions. It's better. Got what it takes? Yes. We're about to find out. Okay. Come on. Okay, Catherine, dumbbells above your shoulders. Don't rest them, hold them right here. You're gonna squat down, come up, press. I think Catherine's biggest challenge is gonna be sticking to the meal plan and the fitness plan together. What's the worst part? My quads. Your quads? Well, now you get to have a seat. I'm gonna be pretty tough on her. I'm gonna be checking out, making sure she's doing her cardio. If she's not doing it on her own, She's gonna do it with me. She's not gonna like that. Trust me. How do those feel? Painful. Full body exercises, lots of cardio, lots of core, resistance training, the whole nine yards. 
Drop your butt. I have a long aisle to walk down. I need a lot of people to be looking at me, and I need to look good. These are for your glutes. <laughs> You're gonna feel them through your hamstrings as well. Made her do single leg bridges on her back. Great for the glutes, great for the core, great for the hamstrings. Um, they're very difficult when you're doing them on one leg, which she found out very quickly. Um, she's going to be a little sore tomorrow. How are you feeling? Awful. You're going to feel like that for the next six weeks. Catherine, welcome to one day in the life of your new food. What do you think? There's no breads or pastas, and it's just a lot of veggies. We're getting you eating way more fruits and vegetables. We're going to take your calorie count down by 900 calories. Wow. The other thing is we're cutting your fats, and your carb intake was way over the top. So let's go talk more about protein shakes. I introduced the smoothie concept to her. It's quick and easy. You can take it on the go like you can coffee. It's perfect for Catherine. I call this smoothie the mango tango and the mango is the main ingredient. Okay, so we've got some juice, we've got some protein powder and that's gonna be just for you and not for the kids. Some ice and that's all you need. Great. I think the kids are gonna love making smoothies. It's gonna be their new little thing. Let's talk Saget. This is a time when you might be potentially cheating on your meal plan, but I need you to stick to it. Can you do that? I'll try, but it's a pretty big day. Not as big as your wedding day. True. This one's for Tommy. It's my stag tonight, and definitely need to be doing some drinking, and I'm only doing this once. So has anybody tried cold turkey before? Uh, it's Catherine Stagette. They must have lost my invitation, because I didn't get it. So keep your head on the wall. Oh, no. Are you having fun, Catherine? Yeah. <laughs> so what's on that table right here? Ladies? Goodness. <laughs> Have you seen Catherine's meal plan? You, you, and all of you, I will see you guys soon. It's not been a good day. I'm going to pay for it tomorrow for sure. <laughs> Ladies? Yes. You have a good time last night? Yep. <laughs> Just to let you know what we're fighting against. Is that how you guys want to see your friend walking no. down the aisle? No. <laughs> We've got some carbs we have to burn off. I heard you're hurt? I am. Well, Pam, when you're like that, you need friends. Go! <laughs> what? Run! Oh Run! <laughs> uh, I just want to get the point across that she doesn't have much time left. She's making great progress, and I just don't want to see that stop at all. Holy cow. Holy cow. Get that butt down lower. Come on. I'm not so hot about Tommy right now. He has total disregard for the fact that I was laying outside last night for 45 Catherine, minutes on the curve. Drop it in the middle. Just in the middle. Pick it up with your left hand, drop it in the middle. Pass it across. Let's go. Catherine has some pretty good friends. I want them to look out for her. I want to make sure that they have the same, uh, same goals in mind for Catherine. Looking great on her wedding, fitting into that dress. Get down lower! Come on, ladies. I finally made the girls do a compound exercise. Uh, they didn't like that one very much. I want to target the whole body. And now, it's time to go back to work. I want a reason why Catherine cannot cheat. <laughs> OK, I need to fit in the dress. <laughs> I'll never do it again. <laughs> Have a good day. The motivation is to get into that dress and not look like that picture. That's embarrassing. I usually take a pretty good picture, and that was not a good picture. Midpoint weigh-in. Next, we check Catherine's progress at the halfway point. Wait. No cancer. Catherine's a busy bride-to-be, hoping to fit into her wedding dress. Tomorrow is my three-week weigh-in, and I'm really hating my diet plan. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Midpoint weigh-in. Bust. 41 inches. Down three inches. Great. Waist. 35. All right, down four inches. Score. Hips. 48. You've lost two inches. Now get on the scale. Weight, 210 pounds. That's 12 pounds. Yes, it is. Nice work. Thanks. Now, we've got a lot of work to do. Because you're happy, focused, and motivated, we're going to send you to see Jean. You and Jean are going to go sandal shopping. Make sure you look great from head to toe. And get ready to crank it up. So Catherine, your wedding's outdoors. Yes. I heard you're not wearing any shoes at all. No shoes. 
you know, you're gonna be walking on the sand, you're gonna be walking in the grass. A little bit of foot protection, I think, would be good. I found a flat-heeled sandal that ties up at the ankle, a wedge-style sandal, and then I found another flat foot that buckles up. Well, the first pair is a flat, strappy sandal. There's long straps that tie around your ankle, makes your eye go from side to side rather than up and down, thus making your ankle look wider than they actually are. Well, I like the rhinestones and I like the straps. I'm not sure about the straps around the ankle, but... Wedges are great. You get extra height, they sculpt your calf, and wedges are definitely essential if you want extra height at an outdoor wedding. I liked the wedge sandal. It looked cute, but I don't want to be taller than James. Wouldn't be good. Third pair of sandals were, again, flat sole, so the height worked for Catherine. Very, very simple design, just a very thin strap around the ankle and a beautiful row of rhinestones up the top of the foot so it elongates her leg. I really like the third sandal. It's really comfortable. It felt like just a nice little platform that I was walking on, and it's flat. Are these the ones? These are the ones. Hey, we're going to get mommy, aren't we? Yeah, because we're not letting her work out at all today. Go, go get her. The exercising has been really tough in the last couple of weeks. I get pretty grumpy and I'm trying really hard. Right, yeah. <laughs> James, can okay. you please help me? <laughs> oh, come on, babe. I'm busy over here. It'd be good if you could just help with the kids a little bit more. Like, just, just get them off of me, <laughs> not plot against me. The other day, other day? Yeah. I was just kidding around. I like, know, I know. We are just having some fun. I was trying to rile them up a little bit. I know. They miss you. They don't see me very much anymore. I know. I'm not seeing you very much anymore. I right? know. That was fantastic. Nice. I'm done. My shoulders are burning, Tommy! Next, Catherine and James get a break from the boys, but not from me, as we head out on the open water. What happened? Catherine's been busting her butt for almost six weeks in the hopes of losing enough weight to fit into her wedding dress. The happy couple has arrived. Today is your partner challenge. We're doing a five kilometer kayak. Catherine's been making some great strides over the past few weeks. I'm sure you've noticed some changes. Sure have. And today, you get into the action. All right? Right on. Come on. Come on, Catherine, pick up the pace. My shoulders are burning, Tommy. The biggest challenge for Catherine was to continue to keep on working. Um, kayaking really forces you to use your shoulders, arms, lats, and core. <laughs> Whoa. James, if you keep messing around, you're going to fall. Whoa. When I was kayaking, I was trying to catch up and shifted my weight the wrong way, and that was the end of her. What happened? James, lucky for you, the water's warm. Rally the troops. Stay dry. I think the best part of the experience was, uh, I'd say, spending time together out here in the sunshine and nature, and we missed that. You know, we used to do that a lot, and you get caught up in your life, and you start missing it. Well, yeah, the best part is no kids. <laughs> Come on, Catherine, let's go. Looking like a champ, Catherine. Push, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Let's go, let's go. Woo! You got some issues, man. Nice. Nice work. <laughs> What's up? So how did it feel? Wet. Hard. Wet. Hard? Yeah. Well, you've improved tremendously from day one. Your cardio has increased, your strength has increased, your endurance has increased. James, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think I need to work on mine a little bit. It was a great partner challenge, and I'm glad the two of them had a great time. She has worked hard. She has made losses, both in inches and pounds. Will it be enough? Only time will tell. You made it through with flying colors. Well, we worked hard. Let's enjoy the rest of the day. Come on. Really use a beer right now. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Let's get you measured up. Bust. 40 inches. Hey. Down four inches. What? Really? Waist. 34. You've lost five inches off your waist. Holy cow. Hips. 45. Down another five inches off your hips. Really? Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 199 pounds. Woo! Catherine, you've lost 23 pounds. Well, outstanding. Let's get you in that wedding dress. OK. All right, Catherine, are you ready? Are you going to zip up? There you are. I invited some surprise guests to see how Catherine fits into her dress after all her hard work. Really? Surprise! Oh, you look so good! 
Jean, tell us about the before and after. Remember at the beginning, we couldn't even do the zipper up. Now the zipper does up with no problems. Straps aren't digging in. Back looks beautifully sculpted. There's no overhang. In the front, the straps aren't digging in either. It looks great. And I see that you're wearing the shoes that I got you. So looks like you're totally ready to get married on the beach. Congratulations. It was great working with you. When I started this six weeks ago, I knew I could do it, but I just didn't think I could do it so well. I did really good. The dress fits her like a glove. Everything is all tied in together really nicely. Wonderful. So proud of Catherine. One word to describe Catherine's results. Spectacular. I mean, 23 pounds, 14 inches, six weeks. I've got nothing but praise for Catherine. Catherine gave it her all and lost an incredible 23 pounds and 14 inches. Her wedding gown glides over her body beautifully, and now she's ready to say, I do. 23 pounds, I'm more than happy with that. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Because you look at my lifestyle and my life and my priorities and everything else, and I have a lot going on. So if somebody like me can do it, then pretty much anybody can do it.